Hi, my name is Alex Williams, and in this video, I'm going to talk about why it is that animators need to fail, or rather, why animators need to fail upwards. So, to find out why failure is important, keep watching. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about why it is that animators need to fail, or rather, fail upwards. Um, what do I mean by that? Um, I think that what I mean by failing upwards is we all need to get used to the idea that when you start out at something, your work is not going to be very good. And lots of animators or lots of student animators are, tend to be shy about showing their work. They tend to be shy about the sense of exposure that they get from showing their work. But this is something you need to learn very early on in your career because you're going to be doing a great deal of it. Uh, and trust me on this, the feeling never really goes away when you walk into animation dailies with a with a director, uh, you know, and you show your work up there and the work is, is on this big screen in animation dailies and all the other all your friends and colleagues can all see it. And they're all sitting there looking at your stuff and the director's looking at your stuff and that sense of being exposed professionally uh, and having people judge your work that never goes away. It never goes away. And you need to get used to failure to, to having your work kicked back, being rejected, having changes made, having clients, directors, producers, producers, dog, producers, cats, former owner, giving you notes, making changes to your work. You need to get used to that early on. Animators need to fail upwards. So a good analogy for this is think of it as a video game. You know, video games are basically designed to test the game player so that they're just you're just being pushed just beyond the boundaries of what you're capable of. Uh, and a good animation course, such as uh, the ones that I run, both online and in the classroom, uh, are designed to test your ability. They are designed to push you so that you're a little bit out of your comfort zone, sometimes quite a lot out of your comfort zone, but they're pushing you to fail, but to fail upwards. Uh, and hopefully a well-structured class um, let's say you've got a let's say you've got a day or even just a morning to do something. Hopefully you're gonna you're gonna experience this sense of failure in the beginning, but then by the end of the class you're gonna experience the sense the sense of success that you have you have failed upwards. You've leveled up by the end of the class. You you learned how to do something, or if you messed it up, then the next time the next day you can learn how to do it better. Um, and that's the key to success: is failure, is repeated failure, uh, as um, uh, Winston Churchill said uh, very famously uh, and often overused quotation, but still a very nice one uh, that that su that success is um, uh, is is moving from one failure to another with no loss of enthusiasm. And he certainly knew because he had uh, uh, some quite spectacular failures. If you think of people in our industry who've had amazing failures, uh, I mean, let's start with one of the giants of the animation industry, uh, Walt Disney. His first character was Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Uh, which um, ended up being taken over by his business associate, a chap called Mintz, who ended up owning Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, almost destroyed Disney. He had to go off and create an entirely new character, uh, which he called Mickey Mouse, which made his name and his fortune. So um, when animators start out, when you're first starting out in this field, you know, you're going to feel that your work is no good. You're going to feel that you don't want to show it, that you don't want to share it. You don't want to show it in the classroom. You don't want to show it in the Facebook group. If someone like me asks you to shoot live action reference for a shot, you're going to feel shy. You're not going to want to do it, but you've got to get past all that. You've got to get past that and do it and do it badly and fail and then fail upwards. And the next time you're going to do it slightly less badly. And then the next time you're going to do it, maybe it's getting OK this time. And then gradually with time, you your skills develop and, and, and you will experience success. Uh, so remember, animators have to fail but you will fail upwards and you will get better at what you do, but you've got to begin by taking that risk of failure and failing upwards.